Hello, speech class. It's me, Mr. Gibson, your speech teacher. I um, hope you had a great first week. It is August 27th, Saturday, so I record these a little in advance before I send them. But uh, you should have done your introduction speech already. I've only received a small little handful of speeches. But like I said, it is Saturday. I could receive a lot of them on Sunday. So if that's the case, forgive me um, for jumping the gun. But if that's not the case, you really need to try your best um, this week to get your intro speeches to me because I'm trying to put the grades into PowerSchool and uh, I can't do that if, if you don't hand in any assignments. So if you want your mom or dad when they look at your PowerSchool grade to see a good grade, get your work in on time. Because everybody so far that's sent it to me has received an A+. Because for this speech, as long as you've um, introduced yourself, you know, told me something interesting, and then closed the speech, you got all 30 points, A+. Plus. This speech was just supposed to be informal, um, an easy, easy A almost, just to tell me who you are. And um, as the weeks go on, I think in about two to three weeks from now, uh, you'll have your next speech due, and that's going to be a little more formal. I will require you to actually submit a hand, an outline, um, and also your speech will be about three to five minutes long. And uh, typically for those, if you go over the time, your docked points, you know, I'll give you a rubric showing what I expect um, in your speeches, how I will grade you. Um, these speeches that I graded, the intro speeches, they were really easy because if you did it, you know, I could just watch them. I didn't have to have a rubric. Um, so that was nice. But the future ones, I will have a grading sheet um, that I'll go through and, and grade them accordingly. So. You need at least to hand in your intro speech, though, to me, before you get that how-to speech done. That's what the next speech is. It's a how-to. You're showing me, you're demonstrating how to do something um, that interests you or whatever. You know, it doesn't have to interest you. You could learn how to do a new thing and then show, show me um, in your class how to do it. What else? Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of emails about... Some of you are asking, you know, what am I really supposed to do in a speech? Since this is an online school, since most of your assignments are through either Compass or NovaNet, um, I think it's, it's just a matter of getting into the habit. This is a speech class, and so I need to, to see you give um, a speech. I can't just read it. Um, I can't just read a paper or an outline. I have to actually see you um, present to me some information. That's what speech class is all about. It's to get you in the habit of, of public speaking. Although you have the luxury of doing it in your own home, you don't actually have to stand up at a pulpit or in front of a, a large group and have that nerve-wracking, anxiety-induced feeling upon you. So even though it is a little um, <clears throat> nerve-wracking to even do it this way, um, but it takes some of the nervous factor away. But you do need to actually record yourself, or you can come into the office and I can um, watch you give me the speech. Um, we'll go privately so you don't have to do it in front of everyone as they're doing their work on the computers. But um, so we'll design, I have designated an area that we could go, you can give the speech, bada bing, bada boom. You know, if you don't want to record yourself on YouTube or save the file on your computer in the media player, um, you can definitely do it that way. Or I had one student say, um, can I schedule a time where um, I can voice chat with you and I can give your, my speech live through voice chat? And that's a great idea, yeah. But you need to schedule a time with me because <clears throat> otherwise I'm just working on the um, computer, doing my teacher thing. And uh, if I just have a message pop up randomly and you say, hey, can I give my speech right now? Well. I might be doing something important at the time. I might be in the middle of a lesson plan that I'm designing. Um, so you never know. That's why you need to tell me in advance, hey, could I 
do a, uh, my speech through voice voicemail or uh, voice chat on Tuesday, and then I'd say yes. What I need you to do this week for your speech class is do the week two folder, um, but also I need you to become familiar with the different ways you can post a video. So mess around with it. Go on YouTube. I created my own account um, on YouTube because I was kind of tired of using the school account. You can um, either use the school account or you can make your own. It's really simple to make your own account on YouTube. Um, so do that. Mess around with it. Um, post some videos of yourself. Um, you don't have to submit them to, to everyone. but Or mess around on the computer and figure out how the webcam works. Every computer has one. Um, so figure out how to use it. Then, yeah, just observe and uh, experiment, things like that. Hope you have a good second week. Hope the work's not overwhelming. Hope your other classes are great. So email me if you have any questions or message me or call me. But I look forward to getting to know you even more. So we've got some great students in this class I can already tell just from watching the video. So I'm excited. Have a good second week. Bye.